Hula Lake Park, the biggest bird-watching site in Israel and one of the most important in the world. Israel's main attraction for nature tourism. The lake is in the center of the Hula Valley, the green heart in the north of Israel. Since the 1950s, Karen Kayemet Le Israel Jewish National Fund, together with its friends worldwide, has invested considerable resources in developing and promoting the area, which has become a symbol of sustainable Zionism, combining agriculture and settlement, nature, ecology, and tourism. The master plan for the Hula Valley relating to all the factors in the area was developed years ago. Today, KKLJNF is promoting a contemporary conceptual plan in cooperation with the local community and KKLJNF supporters worldwide. The plan is based on concentric circles with the Hula Lake at its center. The visitor center serves as the gateway. A lease agreement allows KKLJNF to set up and operate the center immediately. The lake will be a focus of attraction for millions of bird watchers and tourists from Israel and abroad. The park will significantly advance communities and businesses in northern Israel while preserving the local agricultural and natural ethos. It will be a strategic growth engine for a variety of business and tourism ventures, such as accommodation, restaurants, and other attractions. An engine that will create a renewed economic momentum for local communities. In cooperation with the local authorities, it will promote the development of the entire northern Israel. Over half a billion birds of hundreds of different varieties pass over Hula Lake every year. This is a natural and unique base for establishing one of the leading bird watching sites in the world. An extensive and sophisticated array of cameras will broadcast real time video to tens of millions of bird watchers around the world. This will transform the lake into a significant factor in the growing international bird watching network and will attract millions of bird watchers from across the globe to visit the area. The structure of the visitor center, named for former Canadian Prime Minister Stephen J. Harper, is under construction. It is designed as an element growing out of the ground and looking out at its surroundings with humble pride. The visitor center is being established with the support of Friends of JNF Canada. The building will be surrounded by a well-designed interactive activity area with a variety of outdoor enrichment activities. The Stephen J. Harper Visitor Center will focus on the following themes. Bird watching and bird migration. Familiarity with nature and surroundings. The prehistory and history of the region. And sustainability. The center will also focus on the activities of KKLJNF in the Hula Valley and throughout Israel. The interior covers 3,000 square meters on two levels and has been carefully planned to create a powerful, diverse, and fluid experience. The attractions to be set up inside this space will convey messages in an interactive way using a variety of advanced technologies. The largest interactive multi-touch wall in Israel will enable visitors to learn about the birds that throng the area. An illuminated three-dimensional globe will show the different migration routes. KKLJNF's many years of developing the Hula Valley will be presented by means of a kinetic three-dimensional model, including pyrotechnics and media. The Lorraine Harper Multipurpose Auditorium will be a sophisticated 220-seat auditorium that will host a range of activities, among them screening movies, including two produced especially for this site. The Four Seasons, a nature film for the whole family, showing the diversity of nature at the lake and the special connection with the farmers of the region. The breathtaking photography is the work of Israel's leading nature photographers. In Constant Motion, a feature film depicting the central importance of the Hula Valley, beginning with the shifting of the continents through the migration of humans and animals from Africa to Europe to its position today as an Israeli center for migrating birds. The KKLJNF exhibition will be located near the cafeteria, around the KKLJNF Blue Box. By means of interactive screens, hundreds of thousands of visitors will learn about the decades of wide-ranging KKLJNF activity throughout Israel, both in the past and especially in the present and the future. 
On the gallery floor, there will be a cutting-edge conference and study center where school children and students can learn in depth through lectures and topical films. Generators of revenue will be set up within the complex, a reception desk, cafeteria, and souvenir shops that will provide economic sustainability. We believe that the development of Hula Lake and the establishment of the visitor center at its heart is a project that will generate change. The complex will be an economic engine of growth for Northern Israel, an area to which KKLJNF, together with its friends worldwide, has committed itself to since the establishment of the state. It will be an attractive experience for millions of visitors from Israel and around the world, based on the values of sustainability, Zionism, and action. Karen Kayemet Israel, Jewish National Fund. Our values.